Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Derek the Nitwit and this is just, you know, my weekly update. I skipped the midweek one just because it was the holidays and I figured y'all needed to spend time with your family instead of just listening to me and I'm not quite sure what's going on with my voice. I haven't been sick. I don't feel sick. I just suddenly have hit puberty. I don't know. <coughs> anyway, so what I'm up to this week, um, I got a TV. My friends David and Chuck got me that for Christmas. I am so so happy. You know, obviously a TV is not one of those things I have needed, but it's one of those things I have wanted since I've moved out here. I mean, you know, all I ever do on a TV is watch YouTube. Occasionally Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, stuff like that. Which I've been doing on my laptop. But it's just so much nicer to be able to do it on a TV and I've just wanted a TV and it's a smart TV and it's wonderful and it's awesome and I am so happy that I actually when I got home I wouldn't set it up until my sister for Christmas got me the wall mount so I wouldn't set it up I wouldn't even take it out of the box I put it in a closet didn't even mess with it until I got the wall mount got the wall mount put up I got it set up I was so happy I'm mean, like I literally cried like okay I'm one of those happy ones I will cry at the soldier coming home videos and all that fun stuff but, I mean, it just, it really was important. You know, it was really nice to me. I mean, I, I've wanted a TV. I've looked at my budget. I looked at doing it for layaway, for the Craigslist, whatnot. I just could never make it fit. So I was like, you know, okay, it's on the list. It's just so far down there that I'm just never going to get to it. So I just got to the point that I just decided that it was a something I wanted, but we're just never going to have. And then David and Chuck got it for me for Christmas, and I'm so happy, so excited. So, anyway, there's that. And as far as what I've been doing this week, this is... The Miffy, I think it's a Miffy pattern, and I knew it was a plushie, and I wasn't quite sure what animal it was until I started working on the ear, and I guess it's a rabbit, um, and I guess I could have made the ears however I wanted, but I'm just following the pattern, so yeah, it's my crochet hook in there, so I won't lose it, but yeah, I got my little safety eyes, when I get done, I'll put the, the nose and the mouth on there, but I'm kind of happy, it's, um, this bear art is all one piece. Well, that, what you can see is all one piece. The base of it was actually a separate piece that you went, um, put on with a matcher stitch. And I was kind of impressed that, I mean, okay, you can kind of see, you know, I guess where the thread was, you know, connecting it. But you really can't tell, um, find where my lens is. You really can't tell that it's two separate pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm happy with that. Um, I do need to kind of, you know, make the bottom a little bit flatter, but, you know, I still got time to play with it. And I finished Chuck's, you know, the Wanderlust hat, and I've got a little video I'll add at the end of it, at the end of this one, showing, you know, the hat, just through the scarf. The scarf is longer than I am tall, and it's eh, about four inches-ish wide, four and a half, something like that, estimate. It's a nice scarf. I'm happy with it. I told Chuck he better be glad that I have my own scarf because I kind of like it. I am tired of the pattern. The It has this front post double crochet, back post double crochet alternate that the first time I did the pattern, you know, the hat and the scarf, you know, with the, the small one, it wasn't that big of a deal because it was much smaller. But now that I'm doing such a bigger one, I was like, I am so tired of front post double post crochet. Front post, back post, double crochet. But anyway, so the scarf is done. The hat better be almost done because I'm almost out of yarn. But this is what I've got so far. I thought I was going to have to mo modify the um, the hat, you know, make it like more stitches around and whatnot to make it um, fit for his head. But using a bigger, and it's not that much bigger, but a little bit bigger yarn and a much bigger hook. And I'm pretty confident that the hat's going to fit him. So, we've got that. Um, now, I did a loom knit cowl for my sister's friend, Kim. And I've already given it to, excuse me, to my sister to give to, to Kim. So, I can't show you right now. But I did make a, a short video of it, of me kind of trying it on and getting it stuck in my earring. Um, but I'll attach that at the beginning into this. 
my other little thing this week, just a couple acquisitions that, you know, I'm an eBay fanatic. So I've got this, you know, you're freaking me out, um, which just has my stitch markers. And this, you know, little baggie is a, the, the plastic safety pin style that, depending on what I'm doing, um, besides dropping them, depending on what I'm doing, you know, I like those. Those are the ones that I gave my sister because I figured they'd be easiest for her to mess with. And then I have these itty bitty little wire ones. Look like little light bulbs. You know, and they just pop open like a safety pin. And they're pointed like a safety pin. I like those better. But depending on what I'm doing, you know, I alternate between the two. So I have my little cat bag that... How's that? And then, of course, in some of the places on eBay, you know, if you, like, I've won um, auctions for, like, 10 cents or less. And some of the stores won't actually do a transaction for that small because it ends up costing them money. So I had to kind of pad the transactions with some other stuff. So this is technically is a... Um, what do you call those things? Tablet. It's a tablet case for like a 7-inch tablet, which I have a 7-inch tablet that I never, ever use. I'm looking at trying to turn it into like a security camera type thing. But it's great for holding my um, needles. You know, just stick them in there, flip it over. So I have two of them. So I've got the bamboo needles in one and then these little... Um, other ones. Now, these are the ones that I've got that I wanted to see how I felt about having the, the fatter handle. Because I am I really do like the metal ones. And these are actually probably my favorite. The, you know, I mean, I, I know that they're probably some of the cheaper ones. You know, they're the basic. I just, I like, I've not been one, I don't even like fat ink pens. I like, like, zebra ink pens are my favorite ink pens because they're tiny. Like, the original F- 201, 301, whatever they are. Those are my favorite. Um, but I got these because I got them dirt cheap on eBay. Trying. My only complaint is after you mess with it with a while, and I haven't done this one, um, so it won't do it for me. But this part, the metal part, will come out. You can kind of work it loose, which, I mean, it's just a matter of just poking it back in. And it wouldn't take anything to stick some, like, I've got Gorilla Glue or whatnot. Stick a drop down in there and put them in there, and, you know, they'd be stuck. Um, but I, it's not been that big of a deal for me. So I am doing something. Oh, the, the scarf that I am making for my little internet friend in Mexico, I'm using these so I can kind of see what it's like. Um, so, but those are just my acquisitions. Um, this week it's just been a pretty chill week and I stayed at home. I mean, see my Christmas dinner, I went to on cue and had two hot dogs and some seltzer yogurt because they have strawberry boba at the on cue and I love that stuff. Um, so let's see, yeah, didn't have therapy this week because of the holiday, did have group on Monday. I won't be able to go back to group again for several weeks just because this Monday or tomorrow, I guess it would be. I have another crochet class at Joann's. This one is a buffalo check. It's a specific pattern and specific stitch. And I'm, again, I'm looking at more of a social thing. So I'm going to it, and I'm thinking my sister's going to use the excuse that I'm not going to be there as her reason to not go to group. But I'm going to badger her and tell her she needs to go to group anyway. So, Tracy, if you're listening, go to group tomorrow. Um, and then I think Pretty much this week, I don't have anything on the schedule. Um, the third, which I believe is next Friday, Little Miss and my sister's cat Terror, her Terror Rise, but her, yeah, my sister named her Cat Terror. Um, they go to the vet to get their certificates to be able to go to Mexico, and we fly out on the eighth. Which means on by the seventh, I need to go get a haircut. Cause look at this, I got too much hair. It's baby fine and super thick, 
And when he gets longer, you can see the grain. I start looking my age. So, anyway, that, <coughs> excuse me, has been my week. Just chill it out, sit at home. Trying not to get involved in the neighbor's drama because there's been some drama involving, let's see, um, the neighbor that the cops showed up looking for. She got back out of jail because Texas wouldn't extradite her because they're like, it's not that big of a deal. We don't want her. We're not spending the money to come get her. So after 10 days, I let her back out of county. And she's back home. And like a couple days later, she stole his car and left him at the gas station. And he had to take a cab home. And then she was saying she had to, had to take her daughter to the ER because she had a seizure. And my thing was like, freaking call an ambulance if you're having a, you know, whatever. But course and every time we try and contact her then she would block that number and what not to yeah and I kept getting dragged into it because you know he'd come over to use my phone because she'd block his and then you know he'd end up using my phone to call the police and then of course they're trying to find me find him on it was on Christmas Day they're trying to find him by calling me and I could barely hear them but yeah so I spent a couple days being involved in that drama and really wish I had never said hello to my neighbors in the first place because I am not that sociable, social of a person in person. Um, but I haven't seen them in a couple days. I, I hear him, you know, on the other side of the wall making his noise, whatnot. You know, I'm sure he has to listen to my YouTube playing constantly while I'm awake and even when I'm sleeping because I listen to YouTube stories at night. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Um, my channel is up to 509 people. Um, I'm halfway to enough people for monetization if they don't change the numbers before I get there. I don't, I'd love to get to that point. Um, I'm not holding my breath because I used to be a smoker and I don't have that great of lung capacity. No, um, it's just one of those things that's nice if it happens, but I'm not expecting it to ever happen. So, anyway, but yeah, I would, if you did like the video, if you like my channel, listen, you know, checking and seeing what I'm going on in my life, be dealing with my little crackhead cats that I swear I bring the camera out, they go crazy, but if I point the camera at them, they hide. Um, but if you like hearing about it, you know, like the video, subscribe, share me out to your friends, you know, whatnot. Um, if you can't figure out why Google or why YouTube puts me in your recommended feed, then I'm sorry, but, you know... Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys again in a couple days. Hey, so I finished Chuck's scarf that I had done the Wonderland, the Wonderlust scarf for him. And the first time I did the pattern, which I mean, it's a very simple pattern, but the first time I did it, I followed the pattern exactly, and it was, the hat was too small, the scarf was too short. Well, the pattern is, it's each row, each stitch is an entire row. So it's not really dependent on the row before. It's not like the um, Taste the Rainbow pattern that I'm doing from Bag of Day where, you know, you have to, you know, the amount of, you know, stitches that you do in one row is dependent upon the row previous or the design. So anyway, this one's it's a very simple pattern that for beginners, because, I mean, it's just, you do the same thing the whole row. And the next row is a different stitch, you do that. Um, so I so... I didn't count my number of stitches. I just did it until it was the length we wanted and then just went from there. And so I've got the scarf finished. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see me in the whole thing, but it is. And he's definitely one of those that likes to wrap it quite a few times. So it's long enough for him. It is. Whoa, I might watch. I almost hit the silly bin. It is definitely taller than me. I mean, it's probably, it's. You know, six eight inches taller than me what I am happy was that I did manage to get the if you'll be able to see it um, a little finished border all the way around it and so it is done I'm going to message David to stop by on his way off from work and he can pick that up and then I'm going to start on Chuck's hat so. Hey guys, just want to show off the cowl that I just finished. This was for my sister's friend, Kim, and it's yeah, folded out there. It is made out of um, Bernat Velvet. 
It's the Blackbird color, um, Blackbird Merle. It's a bulky five, and I did this on the loom using the bigger loom, and just did a, I believe what they called a garter stitch on both ends so that it doesn't curl, and you can't really see very well. Um, and then just did a stretchy bind off so that it's not constricted any. Yeah, but it's getting stuck on my earrings. Oh, and someone's knocking on my door. Hang on. Wait, see? Nice warm. Anyway, my sister's here. And I'm gonna give it to her so she can give it to Kim if I can get it off my ear. And I'll talk to you guys later.